Hey, Calvin. Child, I got this new phone. I swear on Jesus, I don't know how to work it. Hey, y'all. Whisper, I still love you. Hello. <clears throat> so let's see. Hi, Timmy, Tanya, Rain, Calvin, Hey, Boo Boo, uh, Bacardi. Uh, hi, Sister Mary Clarence, Kenya. Hi, Vicky. Hi, baby. So, um, roll a mile in my shoes. Okay. Is it Talia Howard? Hello. Hello. How's the weekend so far? It's okay. It's okay. It's soft as the shore. Hey, leading me hungrier. Crying for more. Nay, Queen, can you please help me out with information about your Bella account on YouTube? I've been a subscriber. Uh, you can do Patreon or you can do it here on YouTube. It depends because I hear that if you have a, a Apple phone, it won't let you join here on um, YouTube. Not my fault. No, I'm sorry. I, I don't, not my, I, I, I'm not the best person when it comes down to, you know, technology and stuff like that. So, baby, if you don't know, I don't know. You got to come back and tell me. So, I can't help you. When it comes down to that. I just know, uh, like, you know what you can do? It's um, at the bottom of each video or in the description bar of each video. It gives you a link to join the Patreon, right? So anyway, today we're going to talk about uh, Cache Rocker. See, I have an Apple phone, Queen. Oh, see, then you would have to, if you want to join, you have to do the uh, Patreon, so... Um, and, um, yeah, I, just, I, I, I wanted to come live. Oh, hey, to be black native. Thank you so much. Thank you. Let me see what this says. I appreciate you so much. Hi there, Nay Rob. Yes, Motown. What you got? <laughs> uh, so Nay, I was one that voted against any more Motown, but I must say, I am enjoying it. Good, baby, good. And thank you for uh, joining us to be Black Native. Thank you so much. Thank you. You just gave the book club $20. Thank you. Not gave, but trust me, you'll, 
the benefits of being a part of this book club is is it, it you really have a lot of power you know i know this is an angle right and you're like nay why is all this space at the top uh, I, i'm on my um ipad okay hi timmy it does timmy it does and um like i explained to the book club that basically motown is our money okay uh if you have iphone change to desktop mode and you can do it from your iphone thank you thank you thank you thank you see y'all taught me something so um uh first thing i want to talk about oh oh and vicky thank you so much for your continued support um with up top beauty Thank you, thank you, thank you. You know, uh, I, I, you, I don't, what is it about that chuggy lip that everybody loves? Like, I don't know. I thought that people would love the red, bold lip better, but it's like chuggy is selling out, guys. I, I don't know what is going on. I thought Michelle Red would do good because at first it was the Michelle Red that was like, yeah, okay? But I don't know what it is chug, about the chuggy. And Vicky, you just hit me and told me, do I have a darker color? So, uh, the next batch, because it is getting colder, or it's, getting, well, not down here in Georgia, but I'm going to be doing a darker, deeper brown color. Um, th th what I'm working on now is my pinks, okay? Like pinks and nudes. So, um, that's what I'm working on now. And I want to do a red gloss. But after I get finished that, we're going to be doing a darker brown, like a, a raisin almost. I just joined your Patreon. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So um, when the other people are waiting till Monday to get their part 11, you guys will have it tonight, okay? I think y'all gonna have like 11 and 12. Fits most complexions. The only thing that I don't like about darker colors that if you don't have like bright white teeth, then it makes your teeth look even more darker, you know? But um, I figure, you know, if you're comfortable with it, then I'm comfortable with it, you know. So uh, at any rate, guys, another thing is this is the last day for uh, the, the lippies to be, I think they're 40% off. Like I think all the lippies are like $9.26. Today is the last day. Let me put the, let me see. Hold on, babies. So let the sun show begin. Mm -hmm. Give me a second, guys. Hold on, babies. Hold on. It's uptopbeauty.com. Okay. Uh, and, um, uh, okay. Fits most complexions. Hey, Nay, uh, you looking beautiful. Thank you, Jory. If I can't depend on nobody else to give me a compliment, um, oh, you can hear it. You can hear it, baby. You can hear that. I thought I had it down low enough so that you couldn't hear it. But but anyway, the turbans, all turbans. At first, I was going to do, you know, just the unicorn turbans because I love this, y'all. I don't know what it... It seems like the older I get, the more I want to sparkle. What is that? Like, the more I love sequins, the more I love... And y'all, I got a bush up under here. That's why it's um, so puffy like this. But it seems like the more older I get, the more I want to sparkle and shine and... You know, but uh, I call these my unicorn turbans. At first, I was doing just the uh, unicorn turbans that were going to be, you get a free gift. But um, any turban that is purchased 
from, I want to say this Saturday to next Saturday, you will get a free gift. Okay. And all of you guys know that if I, if you purchase like over $70 worth of stuff over there, you know, I give you a good free gift. You know, some of you guys have like Vicky, Vicky stay getting some free. Okay. She's like my best supporter over there, you know, but she stay getting some free. She should have everything over there on up top beauty, uh, right now because she stay buying stuff. Um, if Candy Love is here, I'm finally found out who the midget was on. Okay. So this is what I want you to do. Sister Mary Clarence, I love you. I lo Please don't use the word midget. They don't say midget no more, baby. It's little person, little person, little person, little person. You don't watch, uh, 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 little women of ATL. You can't say that to them. The motherfuckers will get you, girl. You don't want no problems with them. You don't want no problems with little people, okay? And I'm not even trying to be funny, y'all. It's no longer, don't use that M word, baby. Sister Mary Clarence, please use, um, and you're one of my good supporters too. You know, me and you can always rely on each other for a good laugh, okay? So, okay, thank you, thank you. Just little person, little person, little person. And I'm thinking about doing um, Little Women of Atlanta because you know it's a girl from back home. I think her name is Tamur. And she's playing on um, Little Women Atlanta this season. So hopefully, oh no, y'all, hold on. This is my shit right here. I gotta play this, y'all. Hey, the genius version of Aretha is better. It follows the book we read. We read, yeah. Hello, Karen. Hey. Hey, hey. Oh, water. Always water, baby. Always ice water. Hey. Timmy, baby. Like a mighty long time. Nails. Look, these are Lee Press on. You should have seen me last night, right? Oh! My grandma was listening to that song the other morning, doing the same thing. Hey, I'm 50. I'm old enough to be a grandma, but I'm not. Baby, it's a blessing to know music outside of your own genre. That's outside of my genre, but I still know it. Good music is good music. Ooh. Okay, hey Joseph, my older brother, whole record collection to, consisted of that Black Label Motown singles when I was a little kid. So that could be why most of us know a lot of the music because real talk, most of my followers or some subbies and supporters, uh, Motown is outside of their, hold on y'all, I'm about to fuck y'all up with this, hold on. And then I'm gonna act right in one minute. Me too, me too. Hold on y'all, I'm gonna act right right after this, hold on. Many guys have come to you with a line that wasn't true, and you passed them by. Ah! Hey, and then lines don't mean a thing. Why don't you let me try? Uh, in the 90s, and I love that music because it's the best, baby. Yes. Oh, yeah. That one. 
too, baby. Cowboys and girls. Hi, Jada. One for me. We'll see. I am saying all true. Explain them to you. La 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 la. Okay, let me stop acting crazy. I love you. Girl, if I could sing, I'd be terrible. So anyway, back to business, right? So like I was saying, anybody that purchases a turban within the next week will get a free gift, okay? And like I said, I don't give away shitty gifts. I give away good gifts, okay? So, uh, hey love, right after this on my playlist. Really? <laughs> and, um, you know, so I'm encouraging everyone to go over to Up Top Beauty. The lippies are on sale for $9. Today is the last day by the morning. Um, like $9 and something cents, something like that. So by the morning, they're going to be back to their regular prices, $16, okay? The turbans, the unicorn turbans, they're, I think they're like $18 because I paid more for them. Okay, and I'm telling y'all, once I get rid, once I get finished paying all the fees and stuff like that, I am telling you, your girl be like five dollars left over. So you know, and I don't want to raise the prices. I want to, you know, be fair to everyone, right? Because I'm just grateful for you guys' support. Let me just say that. Okay, now leave that alone and put it somewhere else. I'm gonna randomly put the um. Isn't it, girl? You know I have it in um, pink, too. And, you know, as we get older, we need to wear, like, softer colors so that it doesn't look so harsh on our face. So it's important that I have a pink lippy, which I said is coming in. Um, I'm also working on the mascara. I want to do a black eye and I want to do a blue mascara for us brown eyed girls. You know, my sister and my nephew, they, you know, rocking them gray and hazel eyes. So us brown eyed girls, you know, that blue mascara makes our eyes pop, right? So that's what I'm working on, okay? Um, and like I was saying, the pink unicorn turban is... Um, you know, just as pretty. Like I said, we need softer for us as we get older so we can cover up some of that. It helps us look old. If you notice, if I'm not wearing, our, I mean, it helps us not to look old. If you notice, if I'm not wearing my colors, I'm always wearing like a soft pink lip, okay? Because we need things to, you know, give us some softness. Because, you know, our skin style, oh girl. I have pretty good skin, but, you know, I've noticed lately uh, bet you back. Is that bet you back? You can hear that. Damn. Thinking of you. Put your name across the sky. Bet you by golly you are. Look, I can't play with y'all tonight because I want to have a serious talk about Motown right now. I got a new phone. I don't know how to work it yet. Give me a minute. Thank you, uptopbeauty.com. Like I said, I'm going to be putting the child is phone. What's next? Okay, let me press pause. Okay. Nay, been rocking with you since Superhead. Oh, oh, thank you, thank you. 
That's Philly there. Um, okay, I love Phyllis Hyman's version too. I, me too, me too. I actually, well, I can't say that. I, I was going to say I prefer her version more, but you know, I'm partial to Phyllis. Miss Sugar Ray's book needs to be a movie. That's what I say. So let's, let's you know, we, we talked about Up Top Beauty. Like I said, I'm going to be randomly putting in uptopbeauty.com in the comments or in the live chat so that people know where to go to just in case they want this turban or anything else, right? So, um, what is going on that I can't top chat? No, live chat. Okay, there it is. Okay. So, y'all, we're getting ready to get into a point in the book, right, where I'm... Oh, shit. Hold on, babies. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. My bad. I keep doing um, crazy shit. Hold on. Give me a second. Hey there. Hey there. I'm just saying. So anyway, so um, what I want to say is, so we've had actually 10 episodes of Raynoma, okay? And I want to say like the past week is when we're starting to see how Raynoma put herself in bad situations, you know? And I think somebody told me that in Barry Gordy's book, he didn't even mention Raynoma. Nothing about Raynoma, really, except for the fact that she stole from him. Hi, Ronnie. So uh, am I wrong? Who was that who told me that, who read, who read the Barry Gordy book? I need a hand. Timmy, you didn't read, have you read the Barry Gordy's book yet? He doesn't, I read it. You did, Calvin? Thanks, Rosalind. Oh, okay. You did, Calvin. Okay, I see. And, um, so maybe it was you, okay? But this week, we're going to be a little hard on Ray Noma, okay? And I, I did, and it doesn't have it. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Jada. Um, this week, we're going to be a little hard on Ray Noma. Okay, because Barry DeGordy doesn't mention her, there is an audio book of him narrating. Okay, um, I did. He said she stole music. Okay, Renee, thank you. Not yet, but I never saw him mention Raynoma in his book that much. Okay, he barely mentions her. Barry Gordy doesn't talk bad about his ex wives. Well, he did say that they stole from him. He did say that Ray Noma stole from him, from what I understand, okay? And I, I, because he doesn't talk about his ex-wife, I would, wives, I would believe that he doesn't talk about them because he knows how shitty he was to them, okay? I don't think he includes a lot of development of Motown. The, the Sister Mary Clarence, I think he does that on purpose because if he says that, then um, he has to give, you know, credit to Ray Noma. And, and, and Berta Gordy ain't about to give credit to nobody for the success of Motown, okay? No mention of her, okay? Not in the book, though, okay? He has a lot of dirt to hide. You're right. So what I'm going to do is, you know, you know y'all know I be getting the nigga. You know, basically I'm the face of this book club, right? And you know I be getting the nigga from Barry Gordy lovers, Motown lovers, you know, you know where they feel like I'm bashing Barry Gordy. I've said it a thousand times. I would not take my time to do a book on anybody if I did not respect them. Let me restate that for the niggas in the back. Okay? 
for the niggas in the back. I would never waste my time or the book club's time to talk about anybody who we did not have respect for, okay? Because I'm sick of you niggas, right? But I know, you know, dum-dums, you know, are born every day, okay? I understand that. But I don't understand Jewel Jackson. What are you, what's the problem? What are you talking about help? Help with what? I loved my city. Detroit, we got, I know, thank you. Burry definitely didn't want to mention the other folks who helped to build Motown, not even Smokey. His best friend? He didn't want to talk about his best friend. That's his best friend. They love each other. Not Smokey. Exactly, Calvin. See, this is why we in love, Calvin. This is why we in love. He never paid his employees for the work, child. It's going to be some. It's 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 going to be some juice that's going to come out, y'all, next week. But I'm not about to sit here and make it seem like Ray Noma was this innocent, you know, gentle. Per she she is. She has a she. Ray Noma comes off as a goody two shoes, you know, and I can be a goody two shoes myself, but. We cannot let Ray Noma just be seen as the victim in this book, okay? I'm not going to drag her to the gutter, but so far, what we've seen, Ray Noma is doing a lot of things that are wrong. Like, number one, uh, Barry DeGordy book is fluffed up. Yeah, I would believe it. Like, what Otis Williams did with The Temptations, that's why I don't have no... That's why... The, uh, no, 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 no. All them... Interns, free work, exactly. And that's what Raynoma talks about that too. Raynoma was a hustler, just like Barry. Um, I don't think she was a hustler. Raynoma is so goody goody that she shits on herself. Okay. Raynoma is so goody goody and so I'm willing to like she she's a hustler, yes, but she's not a hustler like a seedy hustler, like Bird of Gordy, okay? Because Bird of Gordy got a lot of shit with him, okay? And Barry Gordy is very, you know, like matter of factly, like this is what I want, this is how I'm gonna do things, you know? If, if you don't like it, tough titty, you know? I mean, it, 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 we about to give Ray Noma a piece of, you know, work. SV, I'm sure he mentioned him in terms of him telling him he needed to form Motown in the first place. And how they were friends, but Smokey was there from the yes, they, yes, indeed, from the very beginning. Smokey was there from the Rayburn Music Company, the Rayburn Writing Music Company. One of y'all told me that he didn't even mention Rayburn in the book. I bet their son Curry has a story to tell. Yeah, he's a Harvard professor. Wow. When she started selling those Murray Wells records, behind, okay. So what I want you to do is not go forward. Um, um, what you call them? D not go forward because I don't know you like that sick, sick a lot, suck a la la. You know that we don't really want to go too forward, right? We don't want to talk too far. I know you don't know this because I don't think you're a part of the book club. But we we like to stay where we are. We're only talking about right here. Okay, because people want to enjoy the book. Okay, so just stay where we are. Rosalind, I see she knew how to be classy and ratchet. Black women had to go along with the company. It's okay, sick Galoma. It's okay, baby. Um, now you know. Okay. Um, <coughs> but I didn't see anything ratchet about her. That's the thing that I'm saying. From her perspective, there was not so far where I am. There's nothing ratchet about her. She's coming off as a goody two shoes, which can be annoying. And I can see how Barry the Gordy, him being who he is, um, can be a, a bit irritated with her. Calvin, he was a major creator. Yes, he was. A lot of artists got the hell on when they could. Ashford and Simpson ran. Tina Marie successfully sued Motown. Yeah, they a lot of people sued Motown. Ray was Ray was naive, you know, and I kind of think Ray it is I don't I don't I, I don't 
I don't know what to say about Ray Noma. You know, I, it, it make me feel like, is she a little crazy? Is she a little crazy? You know, like, I don't know. Like when she gave them people, when she signed her stuff over to uh, Sugar, I mean, not Sugar Ray, uh, Barry the Gordon, when she signed her her rights away, I was like, bitch, you lunching. I would have signed that shit Donald Duck. And when they was like, oh, you signed it up. That's not my name. That's Donald Duck's name. Okay? I didn't sign that shit. I'd have made him think that I did it. I would have never done it. You hear me? And they, it complicated her thing. Yeah, by her family. The only one that seemed to have him by the balls was Diana. But he cheat. Yeah. But he cheated on Diana, too. Diana said that he was a piece of shit, too. No. No, Vicky. It wasn't the D. It wasn't. Remember when she was talking about sex with him? She said it was, like, fun and clumsy and, um, you know, playful. And, and, and she didn't say nothing about passionate. She didn't say nothing about, you know, it being good. She just said that he was like a meh. She didn't take him down and say that it was bad or that he had a small pickle or anything like that. She just was like, oh, it was, you know, clumsy and playful and, uh, girl, girl. Women, we know the difference between some, some, some yeah and some meh. I ain't going back there again. I didn't waste a number, okay? So I didn't think Diana cared. Diana was an opportunist. An opportunist, yeah. He met her. By, Diana's an Aries. Barry Gordy is a Sag. They they use each other. Hi, Wit. Hi, sweetheart. I don't know. I think Diana was an opportunist. You know, I do. She's a romantic. Okay. And I, hands down, with, I, can, I can't. Giving men all of her things, including the dinners. <laughs> Barry pushed Diana to being anorexic at one point. Oh, we got to look at this. We got to find it. Love your content, Nate Rob. Thanks for all you do. Thank you. Um, Diana Ross said she only got $100,000 when she left Motown. I Didn't Diana have to sue him too? Barry was hitting any woman that was willing and ready. I agree with that. But what was happening? These women were getting up, but it was all you get is just the, the, the satisfaction of hunching Barry to Gordy. But I mean, I ain't heard no woman say that Barry to Gordy was yet. Yeah. Like the Tyler Perry woman have, and ooh. Have not, Mrs. Harrington. Oh, okay, I got you. I think Motown was like the other companies. The Etta, Jam uh, Etta George Clinton, and some other books you've read that read talked a lot about bad contracts. The, I, I agree, I agree. But as a record exec, I mean, does it mean that you have to be bad? Does it mean that you have to take advantage of your employees? You know, I, I, just because you're in the business, it does not mean that you have to. Even though it's like a a, a, a rite of passage, it seemed like, for you to get shitted on by your first label. They was getting up from the downstroke. Yes, indeedy. Uh, Vicky, Barry said he would never marry Diana and was too much like him. Well, Dirty dicks don't want to sleep with another dirty pussy. Okay, is the lady from the book still alive? No. No, Raynoma's not alive. I think she died in like 2000 something. Oh, okay. Thank you, Timmy. Um, uh, who you telling, Candy Girl? Hey, Candy Girl, somebody was looking for you earlier. Have a baby by me and be a millionaire. Who you telling? Don't like what Motown done to Florence Ballard and Mary Wilson. I think Mary Wilson was okay. But when the Supremes was over, that's when his true colors came up. Mary, uh, he just got uglier and uglier. Not, you know, physically, but his spirit just got uglier and uglier. Thank you, Timmy. No, uh... 
passed a couple of years ago. I think they taught them things they could use outside of Motown. I agree. I agree. I agree. The men back then were smart and the Ray Charles and the James Brown. The smart. I agree. I would love to find a James Brown book. I would love to find a good James Brown book, but I haven't found any where the reviews uh, of it is good enough for me to be like, okay, present it to you all and say, hey guys, what do you think? <clears throat> you know, can we do this? You know, because you have to research these books, you know, to make sure that it's not a lame book like Tina the Turner, you know, even though... Man, Tina Turner made me so mad with that damn book. I'm going to say that shit forever. She made me so damn mad with that book. She made me mad. Like, you ain't giving up nothing. But we see everything, you pussy sucker. We need a good David Ritz book about him. About who? James Brown? I love David Ritz. He's like my fave. I'm a Sagittarius, and there is a piece of me that admires Barry. Yeah, because you're probably a go-getter yourself, Calvin. You probably are, you know, yeah, let me do this yourself. You know, I, I would imagine that whatever you do, you're pretty successful in it. Uh, yeah, Tina was mute in her book. Yeah, but we saw through the pussy sucking. We knew damn well she was sucking on the pussy. Tina to turn a second book had so many inconsistencies from her first book. Really? Really? The movie of James Brown was great. It was, but I, 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 I want a book. Because you know, the books be so much better. Yes, about James Brown. David Britz gets down to the real. That's what I said. It did. Uh, I am, but I'm honest. I believe in karma. Um, Sagittarians are pretty, uh, pretty solid to me. They're pretty solid. But if you a savage and you got that savageness in you, Bernie Gordy came up. You see what his family was like? Them people was vicious in there. All his family was, yeah, like Bernie Gordy didn't have no choice but to be great. Okay, because everybody in his family was great. He, he didn't have a choice. So they groomed him to be a little savage. Okay. He was the first black man to own his own plane. Really? Uh, I thought the Respect movie was trash. Didn't give, didn't give up nothing. No. That's why Genius was better. The real T on Tina Turner won't probably be told until she passes. Aretha came out right before she died and tried to sue. Really? That family was off the chain. That's right. That family really, really, they had it going on in that family, okay? I read the book. It was good. Really, Vicky? Somebody else told me that that book was pretty good. Somebody else told me that that book was pretty good because the one that Diana wrote, ah, oh, man, that shit was so cookie cutter. Because right after I read Mary Wilson in the 80s, I had turned around and read Diana's book. And I wasn't too impressed with it. The original Marvelettes Motown's Mystery Girl Group is also a great read. Um, we get ready to talk about the Marvelettes next week. They're getting ready to come into play now. Call Me Miss Ross was awesome. Timmy, who made Call Me Miss Ross? Smokey Robinson didn't get hooked on crack till crack. I didn't know that Smokey Robinson was, what the shit? What you telling me for? He was in denial about the toll substance abuse can have on entertainers. Now, I knew that he was a powder ranger, but I didn't know that Smokey the Robinson was hitting crack. You telling me something. Secrets of the Sparrow was was. Who, 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 Secrets of the Sparrow is what book, baby? What book is Secrets of the Sparrow, baby? Who, who book is that about? Tell me. Okay, so that's the one. Call her Miss Ross is the one that, um, 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 is the one that we're, um, that I'm gonna put on a list for next 
read, okay? Because remember, we chose a couple of Motown books because I told you Motown is our bread and butter. Whenever we go outside of Motown, I have to be prepared. Well, we read Murray Wilson's book, baby. Mike Harris, you're a liar. You're a new liar, you. Oh, was by Diana? Okay, okay. Smokey's drug. You are a liar. You know Claudette Robinson has a YouTube channel. You know, she don't get no views over there. You know, I hate that. And I'm going to try and mention her every chance I get because she's too much of a legend for people not to pay attention to her. In 2018, we had family in Detroit. My parents, 75, 76, were in awe because that's their era of music. I enjoyed learning history. Me too, girl. Me too. Um, so let me go at Secrets of the Sparrow. Uh, Mike Harris, you say you serious. I believe you. Yes, Call Her Miss Ross was a book. It was a good. It was good. So we're going to have to put that on our list. Um, Candy Girl, you know me and you be talking behind the scenes. Don't let me forget about, um, and my sister's supposed to be here to help me, baby. I hate when she's not here and I have to rely on you to help me. I'm so sorry. Uh, yeah, Smokey was on rock tour for like three years. Who wrote this? How did y'all know? I love you, Noe. I watch all your book. Thank you, Trisha. Thank you. He got hooked right around the time Marvin passed. Ooh, I asked Smokey. Hold on. When, when, when I asked Smokey Robinson's wife why she never wrote a book. She said, because he still takes care of me. Y'all made me mad. Hold on. Let me listen to my smoke. Y'all done got me fucked up for the day. Y'all done got me fucked up. Not my smoky. Not my smoky. Not my smoky. Don't tell me that my smoky was hitting the rock. Oh my God. Y'all done fucked me up for the day. I am mad at you ninjas. <sighs> Not my smoky. Not my smoky. Not my smoky. Oh, hold on, y'all. Y'all didn't fuck me up for the night. The night. This is my favorite Smokey song. Y'all done made me mad. Yeah, but I heard Smokey uh, sick. Sick of. I, I don't know what. I, um, what a price to pay. Wrote a book too. They said that he was holding back on his book. I don't know, y'all. Timmy, have you read the Smokey book? Have a good live, hun, and talk. To See you later, baby. Wait, what? Claudex said that. Baby, baby. Well, smoking did. Smokey did sing smoking. That smoke. Oh shit. But I'm only human. Hi, Al Spencer. That's one of our um, uh, uh, sponsors here. Al Spencer is the sponsor of us. She has empowerment.com. A rapper saw him on Skid Row and sent him to rehab. Lena D, you're a damn liar. You're a goddamn liar. Don't tell me. Do not. Hold on. You're a goddamn liar. You're a goddamn liar. Really? We gonna look at that candy girl and I'm gonna do a video on that. Candy girl, is that about Smokey? Because we gonna look at that and I'm always late to the party. Yeah, well, you are a sponsor, baby. So you definitely can uh, do what you want. You always make sure whenever this book club ain't there. I mean, she's so much of a sponsor, y'all, that one time she paid for everybody to pay. Um, you know how we, at the end of the book, we do our, um, you know, our contests, our cash giveaways. And sometimes it'd be limited to just the paying members, you know, um, not sometimes, but most times. L Spencer 
she sponsored the whole cash giveaway so that everybody could play. Okay. So like I said, I, oh, thank you, Vanetta. Thank you, sweetheart. Um, I know Claudette tried to sue Smokey for half the rights to the Miracles catalog. I don't know what happened to that. Okay. You funny. Thank you very much. Lena, I just Googled Smokey Robinson drug use. Thank you, Candy Girl. We gonna watch that. I'm gonna watch that shit. I got something for you. The lies you tell, that's what they said. They said that Smokey Robinson was smoking the crack. When I tell you, man, I'm, I can't wait to look at that shit tonight. Diana Ross slept with Smokey too. Yeah, we know that, baby. Along with one of the Holland producers. We know that. And Eddie Kendrick. You know, Diana Ross was moving. She was moving through, okay? Uh, who could take her to the top? Uh, thank you, Vanetta, again. Smokey said he did his drugs at home. Well, we're going to see when we watch that video. Uh, to know, you know I am nosy, but was Nick Ashford gay? I don't think so. I don't think so. And and for real, I, 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 I don't want to be rude ecstasy, but I, I don't, for some reason, I don't know if I cared about if he was gay or not. I know that was a question because I'm like, why is that, that lady married to that other lady, grandma? Why are they married to each other? Because, you know, Nick Ashford always had that long hair. So I didn't know, right? But now I don't, I don't even know if it matters anymore to me, y'all. I don't know. But as a child, that shit was like, mama. Michael Jackson, The Magic, The Madness by J. Randy T is a great. So I think I'm going to have to Google Randy Tarabali. I'm not going to do, I don't know if I'm going to do Michael Jackson. Oh, wow. Big up and much love to L Sister Mary Clarence. She always, uh, you know, she's a sponsor here. So like, um, if I know that I'm going to get, like, L. Spencer, sweetheart, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have you to sponsor a video because if I know that it's going to get a lot of views, then I will connect with you. But if I'm feeling like, meh, I don't know if it's going to get a lot of views, I won't, you know, have you to sponsor the video because I want you to get your money's worth, right? So um, as soon as, who Diana was sleeping with? Timmy, you so fool. But you're right. I'm joining the membership today. Hit that like button. Thank you, Larry. L. Spencer, we still appreciate you doing you for that. Yeah. I love her for that. That she's, yeah, yeah, she's awesome. Um, it was said Ashton and Simpson had an open marriage like Ruby D and Aussie. Okay. Uh, what is your opinion on Tanzians? I don't know what Tanzians is i just think he was feminine they are some feminine men who love women i agree um empowerment capital uh michael has been talked about enough i, I i'm not really i don't know why i'm not interested in michael jackson like that i don't know why i thought nick ashford and the guitarist for efw were the same person could be too could be too I'm waiting on the Lil' Kim book to sponsor. Oh, so, okay, baby. If you want to sponsor the Lil' Kim book, you know that comes out on Thursday. We will discuss the pricing and everything, baby, but you got it. You definitely got it. Um, thank you, Ecstasy, for joining today. Thank you so much. They make a lot of uh, word movements. Oh, okay. Nick Ashford is the bomb. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Hi, can you say no? No. And be, uh, I'm getting Kim's book too. So it's coming out in on Thursday. I mean, in November. So, hey. So that's what I'll do for you, L. Spencer. Just in the beginning, uh, we'll discuss the price for the whole thing. And just in the beginning of every video, instead of me promoting my brand, I'll promote yours. Okay. I know Smokey hung around Rick a lot. Right. 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 Oh, speaking of Rick, hold the hell on. Let me play my favorite uh, Rickety James and um, 
I know I already played it. Oh, hold on. I was so, I cannot believe, not my smoke. Y'all done fucked me up. Ooh, you don't belong to me. Something strange is happening. Oh, hey, you don't belong to me. Oh, y'all know nothing about that. Shut your mouth. She is very freaky. Girl, the kind. Oh, wait, hold on. What the hell are we talking about freaky girls for? No, Timmy, was it good, baby? Was it good? You know it's hard for me to um, do more than one thing at a time because I can get overwhelmed. Uh, yes, the documentary was great. Okay, hold on. This book club is such a family. I love it here. Thank you, L. Spencer. For instance, the one time they were doing the crazy kind of dance, but it wasn't really a dance. I didn't know what to think. By the way, Nay, you saw... No, I didn't see it yet, baby. She's a very freaky girl. Oh, my God. The kind you don't take home to my thought. <laughs> yes, the documentary was great and very informative. Okay. It seems everyone at Motown followed the leader who was a freaky deaky. Who? Not Bird of Gordy. Bird of Gordy ain't freaky. He ain't had a man... Listen, let me be honest. I've had a Burry Gordy in my life, okay? I did. And it wasn't nothing to write home to my mammy about, okay? Only thing I could say was that I was hunching a Burry Gordy. That's it. That's it. That's all. I've had a Burry Gordy, and it wasn't spectacular. Therefore, it was easy. Well, let me say this. Mentally, it was hard for me to let go of my Burry Gordy. Hey, Wild. Hi, baby. But physically, no. Okay? Physically, no. Because the, the, the guy had my head very, very turned around where, like, it was a Scorpio dude I think I told you about. And the guy was literally a Barry Gordy. Okay? Um, in all ways. Okay? He was a Barry Gordy in all ways. And he literally, like, I, at the end of the day, I was like, why was I even telling that nigga that I loved him? I didn't love him. But he made me think that I loved him. It was like the mind manipulation that was going with it, man. Um, uh, yes, it seems everyone at Motown, okay, yes, Valerie Simpson said in an interview that she told Nick dig deep into his feminine side when they wrote I'm every woman. Oh, I forgot they did that. L. Spencer, are you empowerment capital? I know. No, it's M. The num. It's M. P. O. W. Uh, e. R. Baby, spell it out for me. Rosalind, I love the old school music and the story of the things that happened. You like the Super Freak song, huh? Yeah, it was an amazing documentary. Well, I'm in, I'm happy. That it was good. I'm going to watch it. That was Rick James' song, Nay. I saw it was great. Didn't know Rick was responsible for getting black artists on him. Yes! We read that in the book, baby. We read that in the book. Rick James was the mother hunchy because before Rick, they wasn't letting nobody on there. I think they was letting Michael Jackson on there. That's it. <clears throat> Okay, is that Ebony Eyes? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It was great. Uh, Karen didn't know that Nick pisses all over Diana on the Boss LP. Okay, retraction. I can't find it. But I remember him telling the story on a B and T on a B E T or some award show. He got standing ovation. I never saw anyone in Motown books say how great BG was in bed. Exactly, Timmy. Exactly. I think uh, uh, Barry Gordy's 
uh, thing was mind manipulation. You know how women, I'm talking to us women or men, you know, depending on what you prefer to suck, okay? You know how us women, we, um, it's something about us and that bad boy. Hi, it's me. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. But you know how us, um, women, you know, it's like we want to, we look at the bad boy as a, as a, as a beat to conquer. You know, and that's how they get these bad boys get us, you know, until we realize that the only person that can make them bad boys act right is a bad girl. Hence, Barry the Gordy and Diana Ross. So in the next couple of videos, trust me, it's going to be. I'm not going. I'm. I'm not going to be nice to Ray Noma. I'm not going to disrespect her. Disrespect her, but I'm not going to be nice to her either because I feel like Ray Noma, like women, you know how we are. We put ourselves in situations to be used, right? And I feel that Ray. Not I feel, but so far what I've read, Ray Noma saw herself getting played. She saw it. But she didn't Shawnee O'Neal it. You hear me? She should have been Shawnee O'Neal in his ass. She should have been, when she realized that Barry DeGordy had, you know, a plan to take this, take it to the next place and she was getting disrespected, she should have been putting money away. Shawnee O'Neal knew that uh, Shaq, o Shaq was cheating on her, okay? And she was putting money away. She didn't do that. So that's the part of me that makes me feel like, okay, we can't have so much poo-poo or, you know, oh, poor Red Noma, poor Red No, We can't have that because I don't give a fuck what age you are. If, if you see somebody shitting on you or if you know what it is, how long are you going to stand in that victim place? And I've read one of the reviews that said that the book kind of, it's good tea, but the book kind of just centers around her being a victim. And I'm not going to allow this book review to be about Raynoma being a victim. Okay, y'all, I just had a, a nice sweat. I just had a, I mean, a hot flash. Give me a second. I need, some, I need something. Hold on. this right child this lighting down here in marietta be terrible so I, i'm sorry guys i want to go back because I, I missed a couple of uh uh please tell us about eddie kendrick's and the women of motown mrs l we already did a unsung video about eddie kendrick's sweetheart um okay Kern didn't know. Okay, retraction. I already seen that. I never saw anyone in Motown. That's when we stopped. Tanzanian people are really bad. They're really very, very bad. Um, I don't know what you're talking about. And if you don't, let's look. I'm going to block you if you don't stay on topic. Okay? Because don't come in here and talk about some shit we don't know what the hell is going on. We're talking about Bird Gordy. Okay? And if we ain't talking about Bird Gordy, we're talking about my brand, Up Top Beauty. Okay? And empowerment because, you know, she a sponsor. Calvin said, is Michael never did. I'm not partial to, matter of fact, let me just go ahead and block this person because I don't have time to. Uh, okay. Timmy Tim, money is the most powerful aphrodisiac. You got that right. Uh, thank you, hoes and pros. Please tell us about Eddie. We always love the Motown series. You are on point. Thank you, Insanik. Yeah, Michael and Prince were the only ones. Rick James dissed them on TV saying they both were tokens. Ooh, shit. Uh, Nay, you have a good voice. You just need your vocal training. I like your, vi your vibe, though. Thank you, Kern. I think I'm okay. I think uh, sometimes my throat be hurting sometimes. Barry played with their heads, paid those people, and won the money back in the card game. 
See, you pay attention. A real pimp don't fuck 100. They mind fuck. Exactly. Diana was more sprung off on Eddie. Yeah. Remember? remember? What did we read? Murray Wilson said it. Murray Wilson, because remember when Diana went to Eddie Kendrick's um, uh, uh, house one time and one of them girls that Eddie Kendrick was messing with went down to the club to whoop uh, her ass and Flo had to get in between Diana Ross and the girl. Now, Diana wasn't scared of no fight, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Being the boss helps to get women too. It's true. Calvin, he did. Raynoma was a Susie sausage head. I got the old album for my friend. They were cleaning out a house and I told you all about them. Um, Barry was doing some pimping back in the day. Yes, he did. We talked about that in the book. Are you reading our book, baby? But a lot of those most, or listening to our book, a lot of those Motown people. Did Barry Gordy talk about pimping in his book, y'all? Did you hear that Diana was with Eddie Kendricks and when Eddie was almost done with her and Diana found out, Diana pulled up to his, oh, I just, I was just saying, hey, Fur Vivo, uh, fact, should, shouldn't put her name on some papers or something claim ownership. Sugar Ray got on my nerves. It was the teeth. Exactly. You like him for his teeth? His teeth, bitch, please. You can knock all his teeth out and put some fake ones in, bitch. You don't do that. Are you talking about uh, Ray Singleton? Yes, Sugar Ray. Yes, that's her name over here. Sugar Ray. Shaq had women throwing themselves at him. Different towns, very difficult. Uh, Diana was with uh, quite a few Motown. Yeah, she was. Uh, Motown, brilliant time to be in music. Exactly, my youth. Uh, she should have backdoored his ass. Bingo. Um, okay. Marietta. Smokey admitted to using Coke, not the crack form. All right. Smokey, Barry, Eddie Holland, Eddie Kendricks. Candy Love, okay. It would have been, that's for Candy. Uh, I agree. Mark Money is power. Uh, Child Ray says she liked his teeth. That's right. They cooked the books back then when the IRS came. Michael Jackson was I. No, Michael Jackson is amazing. I just don't feel like talking about his ass. At the Cool Jazz Festival, I saw a coked out Smokey and he was actually booed. Lord, 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 Eddie Kendricks, one, one of my all-time baby daddies. Eddie Kendricks, he had the greatest falsetto in the world. I didn't say, I didn't just say it. Uh, uh, Mary Wilson said it too. And Smokey the Robinson, but y'all didn't fuck me up telling me that he didn't smoke crack. Eddie Holland's wife? It was, see, I forgot, y'all. Y'all know I read so many books. Was it Eddie Holland's wife? It was Eddie Holland, not Eddie Kendrick's, y'all. My bad, my bad. A real pimp uh, fucks his hoes. All that stuff about pimps is not having sex with their hoes. No, they, I heard that. Y'all know, uh, for the people who have been here for a while, y'all know that I used to mess with a pimp, right? I ain't never sell no pussy for him, okay? Because if I'm going to sell pussy for anybody, it's going to be for myself, okay? But um, pimp told me, the, the pimp told me that the only time that he ever would fuck his hoes is if he really needs to get in her head, you know? But they do fuck their hoes. Um, let's see. Smokey was smoking Primo's. Oh, oh, I can believe that. David Ruffin was my favorite member of The Temptation. Mine too. Motown Records was everything back then. Yes, indeed. That was Brian Holland's wife who fought Diane. Okay, wait, some, somebody. I, thank you, Timmy, because I know who, whoever it was that went down to the, um, and Murray Wilson told us about it. I just can't remember. Timmy, you must got a memory like a, well, wait, Timmy, I think you still in your 20s or 30s or something like that, so your memory is better. Plus, I think that Timmy might be a sober person, you know. So knowing that I'm not a sober person, you know, I don't, you know. Hmm. So I can't remember everything. That's why Timmy is a good add-on to this group. I love Eddie's falsetto. Me too, y'all. Y'all. 
No, I think they was trying to whoop her ass. Remember in the uh, Murray Wilson book? I think they was trying to whoop her ass and Flo had got in the middle of them so they wouldn't. she wouldn't get her ass whooped. Now, Diana wasn't scared, but, uh, you know, she was like, uh, what you trying to do, bruh? What you trying to do? Didn't I tell you to stay away from me and my mess? The temps. Oh, you know what's on the list also? It's a temptation book, okay? Um, y'all, when y'all get a chance, remember when I put the, the, the paying members, remember when I put it up last time, uh, about what was going to be our next book? Um, it was Raynoma's book first, and then it was, I think it was Murray Wells' book that was next. And then after that, it was the Temptations book, right? So before we go, y'all, Diana didn't back down from anyone. I know some may agree, but I feel like soul music from 1967 to 1974 was the absolute pinnacle of soul. I agree. Of soul, yes. R&B, I think, belonged to uh, the 90s. In itself is a real-life soap opera. Who you telling? Who you telling? Um, you, your rendition of what happened was, is hilarious. Well, so, um, y'all, are we still, um, y'all, I remember we had, I think it was five options. It was Raynoma. It was Divided Soul by Marvin Gaye. It was, um, The Temptations book, not the oldest Williams book. Okay. Not that book. Right. Um, it was, I forgot the other books. I forgot my bad y'all. Uh, no, not the oldest. We're not reading. Uh, and Sonique, you know Otis William, Williams ain't giving up no juice. Okay? And I don't know how long you've been listening to our reviews, but you know we ain't finna read no book that ain't got no damn juice. Okay? Hey, Ned Rob in chat. First time here on live. Thank you, Latanya, uh, for um, coming to visit us. Did Jennifer, well, Liz, um... Jennifer Williams is still on the list, baby. I remember you. I know you you over there on Patreon with me. I think you don't you don't that song well. Okay. Divided Soul was a damn good book. Deliver Us from the Temptations by Tony Turner is really good book too. So let me look up the Deliver Us from the Temptations book. Let me see what the reviews say on that. Uh Divided, Divided Soul made me laugh too. Really? Great book, but it made me laugh. So we, you know, I, I didn't want to do, okay, so let me ask you guys right quick, because we do got to go. I got to work, right? Um, those who have read Divided Soul, um, you know we read Jan Gay's book, After the Dance. You say Eddie was hung like a mule. I said that. I said that. Have you considered Flo's book? No. It, did I? Did we? I don't know. Hold on. Candy, why did you bring up that man's dick? Because I'm about to get real personal. Whenever my wife bring in like a super dick, I be like, what you going to do with that? Because that shit ain't coming in me. I'm not about to handle all that. But why, why, why do us women be so like, yeah, big dick? Cause it's like, you know, the funny part, let me, and the funny part about the big pickle part is that it's like fun to think about, but when you getting that shit on a regular basis, you'll be like, uh-uh, uh-uh, no, 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 no. That's, that's the funny part about large pickles. Like we'll look at it, we'll be like, oh, yay, we have it. But then you'll be like, I don't want to do this every day. I don't want to do this every day. How do you sign up for the book club? Um, are you a George Michael fan? Nay? Of course. Of course. But um, wake me up before you go. go. Da -da 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 wake me. I'm a wham person. And, you know, George Michael too. The careless whisper of a good friend. Ooh, yeah. So true. Ooh. Oh, my nerves. Okay, so. Y'all got me around here talking about dicks. 
Oh shit. Is that what time is it? I gotta go. Bye, y'all. Bye, yeah. Bye, y'all. Bye, bye, bye. Because I got to go. Oh, the person that wants to sign up for the book club, because remember, if you're not a paying member, ooh, I'm sorry. You can comment, and, you know, do whatever when it's an open chat. Today's an open chat. But when it comes down to us picking books, you can't do it. That's only for the paying members. These people pay their money to have input. Okay, so you coming in and be like, you should do this, you should do that, child. I just be ignoring y'all. If y'all not a parent member, you be like, man, you should do this, but I just be ignoring y'all. I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, bye, Rosalind. Thank you, Candy Girl. Thank you. What did I told you to remind me of something? I forgot what it was, baby. Both of us can't have fucked up memories. Okay, and, and stuff. Anyway, don't forget, guys, my um, unicorn turbans. Ooh. Ooh. Let me see if I can turn the light on so y'all can see how this thing sparkle. Ooh. Girl, I got these damn long-ass fingernails mm, knocking me out. Ooh. Ooh. So don't forget my unicorn turbans love everybody who purchase one from now to next week will get a free gift and like i said i give away good free gifts Ooh, ooh, ooh. so look y'all um it's uptopbeauty.com okay uh thank you uh look nay rob on a page look nay on a patreon okay uh What's on the Patreon? Vicky. I was kind of mad at you because I said I haven't seen her comment in a while. Did she leave me? Oh, welcome, Christina. Welcome for, jo uh, for joining my Patreon. Um, April, I enjoy... Mm, thank you. Thank you, April Singleton. Thank you so much. Um, let's see. Let's see. Do you still make the swan bangles? I do, but I think the last time somebody was like, ooh, I'm going to pay for them, and they didn't pay for them, then I got pissed. And on top of that, my hand was hurting. Uh, I had developed arthritis in my hand, but I have a couple of bundles upstairs that just need to be tied off. So um, if you want one, then you could contact me via Instagram or email me at Narob on YouTube. And we could talk about pricing and stuff like that. But I do have a couple of bundles still upstairs that just need to be tied off. Uh, okay. Well, you don't just send a deposit, baby, because I want to know where you send it to. Hey, Velma Kook. See, that's the thing about y'all. That's the thing about y'all. Y'all be like, ooh, I get to have input? My voice gets to be heard? Yes, this book club is such a democracy. Okay. But anyway, um, uh, why don't you send me an email at narob on YouTube at yahoo.com. Then we could talk about, okay? Thank you, Candy Girl, for having my back as usual, okay? So anyway, guys, we got to talk later. I got to work and bye. Don't forget to visit uptopbeauty.com, guys. Have a good one.